the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives, you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks And I'm extremely excited to show y'all my newest pickup This is a very important pair to me I'll explain why they're so important to me later in the video, but I've been trying to get them for a while. And I was mad patient with copying these too, so it feels great to finally get them in my size, in great condition, with the original box and everything. So first I'm going to show you all what pair it is, and then I'm going to explain why they're so important to me, and what really took me so long to get them. Just by looking at the box, I'm sure some of y'all might already have a pretty good idea as to what pair it is, because there's only but so many Jordans that came in this box. I believe it's like five or six pairs. But, I like this box a lot. More specifically, this uh, top part of the lid, whatever you want to call it. The collage on here is fire. And when you compare this box to other boxes from this time period, like these completely outshine the rest of them. Like they really, really did their thing. They really went hard on, uh, you know, on this top part. Let's see what's inside. So I did get these from GOAT. Got all the, uh, you know, authentication things. Go did an amazing job protecting the box as well as the shoes when shipping, so shout out to them for that. They put all this bubble wrap in here, very neatly too. Oh, yeah. So they come with this card. Which is uh, pretty much, uh, I think, the same collage that's on the top of the box. And then here's the other side. So obviously it is a pair of Jordan 1s. Let me turn this around so I can see the uh, paper the right one paper is definitely fire they like i said like they really went hard on the uh not only on the box but the packaging in general for these because all the other sneakers from this time period like they didn't have special paper and stuff like that this if i'm not mistaken this is probably the first time they you know put writing or something on a pair of jordans you know like in the in the paper that's in the box and these are just like a list of his accomplishments, you know, kind of like what they have on the uh, bottom of the tens. And there's uh, some quotes for him. Still a lot of things out there for me to achieve. My father saw my last basketball game, and that means a lot. Yeah, so. Let's open it up and whoo! Yeah. 1994, 1995, bread ones. This is a warm pair, <clears throat> but uh, if you ain't see the bottom, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. And I kind of wanted a dead stock pair, but like these were so clean, you know, I couldn't pass up on getting them. Because, you know, now that they've been worn already, you know, there's, there's no reason to keep them dead stock because they not dead stock. If I got a dead stock pair, I would have been thinking like, Oh, maybe I should keep them dead stock. You know, they haven't been worn. They almost as old as me. But now, you know, since they've been worn already, I'm definitely throwing these on the feet. Swoosh on these is suede. Let's check out the uh, box label. I don't want to show you guys the box label at first. Because, um, you know, that would have gave it away. So here's the box label. Air Jordan 1. Black slash red. Hold on. Look at that retail price. $74.99. That's so crazy. <laughs> yep, here's the box. That's the bottom. And, you know, for the... Considering the age and the fact that this is just like a little piece of cardboard, like this box is in great condition. And that was crucial to me. I was not getting these without a good box. 
I know some of y'all are probably wondering why these are so special to me. And if I was going to get an older pair of bread ones, why did I get these as opposed to the 1985 pair? Or why did I get these when I already had the 2001 pair? The reason is because these were made in 1994, and so was I. <laughs> you know I love the older Jordans, especially the ones that I could wear. And being that these were made in my birth year, I feel like it's only right that I have them. They was calling my name like, checks. we need to get in the collection. And I'm like, I got you. <laughs> I plan on eventually owning every pair of Jordans that was either made or released in 1994. And now that I have these, all I need is the white cement 3s, the steel 10s, and the Chicago 1s. But I'm not in any rush to complete that. Now the thing about these is, I really should have copped them back in 2019. September 7th, 2019 to be specific. September 7th, 2019, I was at SneakerCon in DC, and ironically, I actually have some footage of me seeing the pair of these there and me passing up on them. So let me just show you how the clip. Those are 1994 bread ones. I was born in 94, I need them. Yeah. How much? They dead stop? Let me see them. Oh my goodness, I don't even want to pay 12. These are as old as me, and I can wear them. Now, twelve hundred wasn't a bad price. It's just that at that time, I thought I would have eventually been able to find a pair for cheaper. Now, I was confident that I was going to be able to get a pair of these for a steal price, like I did the OG Chicago Tens. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you check it out after you're done watching this. But yeah, six months later, it's March 2020, and I still don't have a pair. We're all quarantined, and the Last Dance series gets released. And as you all know, because of that. All the OG colorway Jordans went up crazy in value. OGs, retros, all of them. So now the shoe that I wanted that was going for like 11, 1200 is now going for 2000 plus. A couple months later is June. My birthday's like a month away. And because of the pandemic, I knew I wasn't going to be able to celebrate it the way I wanted to. So I at least wanted to treat myself to a nice gift. There was a dead stock pair of these on go at the time in my size. So I decided to bite the bullet and I copped them. So I'm all excited. I can't wait to get them. And then the seller cancels the order. Yo, I was so mad because there was no other dead stock pairs online at the time. Fast forward to 2021, it's stimmy season, and I'm on GOAT putting up low ball offers on pairs, hoping that sellers will bite. Now, there's a pair of 94, 95 breads on there that had been on the app for about a year at this point. They were used, but in great condition, priced at $2,500. But I decided to place an offer for $1,100. Not necessarily expecting it to get accepted because I know it's less than half of what the seller was asking for, but I really wasn't going to pay much more than that for a used pair. And I knew they had been on the Go app for about a year at this point, so I figured there was a good chance the seller would be pretty negotiable at this point. And like a day or two later, I got the notification that my offer had been accepted. And I try not to get too excited about that after the last situation, but now that I have them in my possession, I finally can. Another pair of Grails in the collection, another pair of Cross off of the bucket list, and we're going to keep going from there. That's why I always be telling y'all, don't be afraid to offer. Don't necessarily get your hopes up, but don't be afraid to put a low ball offer, especially if there isn't an offer already. More importantly, on the older pairs. See, so yeah, that's my 1994, 1995 bread one story. Hopefully the journeys for me getting those other pairs that I mentioned isn't as hectic as this one was. But we'll see how that goes. Everybody, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments what your favorite pair of sneakers is from your birth year. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and tap that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more sneaker related content. Also, make sure you tap that little bell to turn my video notifications on. That way you won't miss out on anything. Thank you all for watching. Everybody, please stay safe and healthy out there and I'll see you next time.